Mosquito Range of Colorado is one of the most diverse mountain ranges in the state. It has the most plant diversity. It's sort of unknown exactly why it promotes so much diversity, but potentially the soils or something else allows a lot of plants to thrive here, as well as particularly rare plants. We are at Horseshoe Mountain near Fairplay, Colorado. I'm setting up a long-term demography project to understand how the species Fisaria alpina is responding to climate change in its natural habitat. This is a rare endemic species. It's only found in Colorado in the Rocky Mountains. The common name is Avery Peak Twin Pod. It's low to the ground like most alpine species because of these harsh conditions that plants face up here. We randomly choose locations based on some mapping that I've done uh, and throwing a pin flag to find a location of where we have plants. The plots are one by one meter squared. So we're measuring the size of the individual plants, how many plants are in each plot, the reproductive output of each plant, so whether it's flowering or how many fruits it's producing each year, as well as the community composition within each plot, so what other species are here in this ecosystem. I've done lab experiments showing that germination and seedling establishment respond actually pretty well to warming temperatures, but we can only understand so much in a lab environment. So I want to study how this plant is responding in its natural habitat with the myriad of interacting factors that will result from climate change. Once we have results, we can understand not only how this species is responding to changes in climate, but how other species might be responding. A lot of species from lower elevations will move up in elevation as the temperature warms, as different climatic factors change. So we can understand also how the mountain ecosystems across Colorado might be changing and what species might be moving up and, and competing with rare species, but also native, more common alpine species. I do love coming up here. I love seeing how it changes throughout the season. And I really do enjoy doing field work and understanding how these plants are responding in their natural habitat.